Hi there. What we're going to do here is to take a look at the uh, an exponential function and answer the following about it. Is the function increasing or decreasing? What are the domain and range of the function? What is the y-intercept of the graph of the function? And what is the horizontal asymptote of the function? Now when we start with our function f of x is equal to 1 half times 3 fourths to the negative x power, one of the first things we want to do is to rewrite that function in a times b to the x form and then look at um, our base there. So remember with the negative exponent that reciprocals the base. So I can rewrite this function as f of x is equal to 1 half and then reciprocal of 3 fourths is 4 thirds and then that takes the negative off the exponent. So those two functions are the same. Um, they just have been rewritten. Now that I've written it in that form, recall that if your base is greater than 1, the function and, excuse me, so if the base is greater than 1 and your coefficient a is greater than 0, then the exponential function is increasing. So we have that our base 4 thirds is greater than 1, our coefficient a is 1 half and that's greater than 0, so our exponential function is increasing. Now what about the domain and the range? Well the domain of an exponential function is the set of all real numbers, so that's negative infinity to infinity. What about the range? Well, when we look at the range, since our coefficient a is greater than 0, our range is greater than 0. So we have parentheses at 0, then off to infinity for our range. And we'll verify that when we look at the graph. What is the y-intercept? Well, for the y-intercept of any function, you set x equal to 0 and find the y coordinate and then get your ordered pair. So then this gives me f of 0 is equal to, and we're going to use this form of it, 1 half times 4 thirds to the 0 power. Well any non-zero number to the 0 power is 1 and 1 half times 1 is 1 half. So my y-intercept is an x-coordinate of 0 and a y-coordinate of 1 half. And this also verifies that my y comes out to be a positive number there. And then what's the horizontal asymptote of the function? Well the horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. And that'll be true um, for any non um, shifted up or um, a vertically shifted exponential function and those sorts of functions if they've been shifted um, vertically will be in the next tutorial. So here we have our horizontal asymptote y equals zero. So having answered each of those questions we can now kind of also look at the graph which I've graphed here down in the right hand corner of the screen. So you see that Move that up a bit. As you look from left to right, your eyes have to go up to follow the graph that's graphed in blue, so increasing is verified. My domain is all reals, um, so as I look from left to right, there will be graph throughout. My range, as you scan this from bottom to top, there isn't any graph until you are above the x-axis and then forever up, so that verifies that our range is open parentheses at 0 off to infinity. Our f of 0 is 1 half, so that gives us this point right here. And then our horizontal asymptote you can see is running along the x-axis which has the equation y equal y equals 0.